Well, ladies and gentlemen, this entire thing was not on my bingo card. What is going on in the YouTube scene, man? Why can't y'all suckers just be making YouTube content? Why you guys cannot control your dragon? Is that too hard to control your dragon? First, we had the Dr. Disrespect situation, right? Then we had the Chris Tyson situation, right? Then we also had a little bit of Mr. B situation, but it was all, it was fine. Then we had the Moist Critical situation, Penguin C. He said that it's perfectly fine for kids to cut their PP and switch sides like they were in a Call of Duty lobby. Absolutely ludicrous, absolutely crazy. He was saying that nine-year-old kid, twelve year olds old, a twelve years old kid can cut their PP, and yeah, like that that situation happened. And then once again, we got the Mr. B situation. Uh, guys, what else can I say? Sunny V2 came out with a prophecy, and his prophecy is hitting different right now. Yes, we heard about the Mr. B situation, and it was bad, but I didn't think it was gonna be this bad, guys. Uh, put your kids uh, to bed, man. Hide your kids, hide your wives right now, guys. Like this video if you think kids should not be cutting their PP. Dislike the video if you think it's perfectly fine. If you take away only one thing from this video, is that, guys, don't let your dragon do the tanking for you. You gotta be the one in charge, all right? Roll it. New Mr. Beast allegations have just dropped and it's not looking good for Jimmy. So last time we talked about Dogpack 404's viral video where a former Mr. Beast employee exposes Jimmy for allegedly conducting illegal lotteries towards children, promoting Crazy. gambling, faking his videos, forging signatures, manipulating who wins the prizes and monies in his game shows, and mostly giving it to his friends and employees rather than Man. random viewers, and much more. Now, I mentioned in my last video that Mr. Beast was actually caught in the same Discord server where Chris Tyson was openly sharing prawn to minors. And now we have allegedly confirmation that it was indeed the real Jimmy Aww. and it is seemingly provable by searching the archives and seeing that his account is linked Oh man, and right now everybody's looking like this, bro. You guys gotta understand that all of this is happening before we get GTA 6, bro. 2023, we had people trying to cancel Mr. Beast for like just dumb reasons, right? In 2024, people trying to cancel Mr. Beast for the real reasons. He has been caught doing this, right? And of course, uh, we're now learning fake videos, uh, which I, I don't necessarily mind about the fake videos. But of course, like if you're going to fake videos and say those videos are real, but still fake it. And on top, if you're going to bring uh, people in for a competition because he's running those prizes, right? Like everybody, everybody get like a million dollars, okay? Everybody getting that million dollars, okay? You can... Uh, change your uh gender and get a million dollars he has been next up he's probably gonna do that Bruh. right yeah go jimmy let's go jimmy jimmy for the president but uh, see the situation is so apt right now that he was also in the same discord server and he was also talking about the dragon size of uh of uh, chris tyson he was saying that the chris tyson dragon size is big though this is why i'm saying if you take one thing away from this video is that guys do not <laughs> don't keep don't let your dragon go in the dark tunnels guys to the Mr. Beast gaming channel, which is not possible unless you own the channel and can log in. Meaning essentially, Mr. Beast lied in his response saying that he just became aware of Chris's actions in the past few days, when in reality, he knew all along. As we know, he had the lollipop art hanging from his living room wall, and he was in the same server as Chris sending messages, and he was best friends with Chris for over a decade and Ooh. defended him until the recent drama. Now it actually gets worse for Mr. Beast. No, no, I said it before, I'll say it again, man. Guilt by association, I don't like that, okay? I don't... I I don't like it when somebody else does something bad just because you know him doesn't mean that you are also gonna do the same thing you cannot accuse another man for somebody else's action okay you feel me uh, but now we're now the cat is out of the bag there are a lot of other allegations and apparently we're also learning this Chris Tyson's leaked NSFW Discord channel logs are going to be released to the public soon. Oh, so another one, guys. Another one is what we're hearing. The previous league did not include this channel, which is said to be the most damning. The There are allegations that miners had access to this channel. So there's like a whole lot of this going around. And I want to be fair. Apparently, Chucky came out. Chucky used to be a Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber, right? And uh, he's now working for Mr. Beast. He got a little chubby, no pun intended. Yeah. That's apparently what happened. He got chubby working for Mr. Beast, though. Uh, getting he maybe he's feasting on the feastables. Uh, if you're not, you're gonna get that reference very soon because uh, something came out with the feastables as well. Man. So yeah, Chucky came out and he's debunking. He says I quickly want to debunk some of the info in this video since the guy who made it was on my team. It was my decision to fire him for for erratic behavior. 
He worked at the company for less than a month and wasn't an employee for most of the videos he mentions to have knowledge on. Now, here's the thing, though. He says that, you know what, false accusations, and maybe that's true, right? But the guy claimed he was an ex-worker, but he didn't necessarily rely on that point heavy of work. He did not necessarily was saying that, yeah, guys, I did, I did work for uh, Mr. Beast over and over and over. He was not relying on that point alone. He was showing us evidence and he was uh, bringing up Mr. Beast video for references that are already up on his channel and he was, I mean, his video was very, very convincing. I will link you that video towards the end, which uh, we did uh, just yesterday. And he was uh, pointing out the evidence and his claims had evidence to support his claims, if you feel what I'm saying. And uh, right now it's, uh, it's looking really, really bad. Beast and Chris because 500,000 messages have been released to the public from that Discord server. Keep in mind, this is after Chris and his squad wiped out every message that they thought was incriminating, but there's still so many left. Moreover, Lava, one of the victims who was groomed by Chris, now recognizes that it was inappropriate and wrong what was happening in the server. So let's go over these messages oh and explore God. this insane rabbit hole. Here we have a tweet by Drama Alert, a thread of all the weird things Chris Tyson allegedly said in the Discord with minors. She's only 14. Damn. Okay, so these messages are from 2018, so Somebody post, post an attachment. Chris replies saying she's only 14. Damn. And this is allegedly uh, uh, BB, which I'm not going to say her name. Otherwise, uh, my last video got. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, time out. Tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. Time out, time out, time out, time out, bro. Hey. Restricted and demonetized, completely suppressed when I said her name. So, uh, what did you think she was? 16 and legal in some states. Oof, of course. If she's 14, I'm 14. Chris allegedly sharing links to the famed lollipop artist Shadman. And Chris has linked the website. Chris the meme god, also referred to as lollipop god, is back. Designated lollipop. Yes, it's me. Yeah, you're back. Ooh, woo. What am I, a parent? Chris Tyson's alleged response to a request to delete an NSFW channel because there were minors in the Discord. I don't have any issue with the channel. What I have an issue with are minors that have access to said channel. Chris says, is there even a way to do that not really no so what do we do lol remove it no people like it even if there was a way anyone can lie about their age yeah true and i mean to be fair the internet is full of prawn discord says if you can't regulate it don't have one it's a responsibility of the server owner to prevent minors from viewing prawn materials chris responds saying what am i a parent lol uh i say we get rid of this because the fan base of mr beast and chris are mostly under 18 and chris obviously completely ignored this and continued going with his absolute degenerate tendencies with minors chris says there's nothing more free 2017 were dark times guys do not let your dragon go in the dark tunnels uh, and stay there okay you you got your dragon can lead you some lead you to some dangerous caves man yeah you you want to watch out for those caves guys don't let yeah uh, do not don't let your dragon do the thinking for you you got to be the one doing the thinking man you got to be the one in charge you are the one in control don't let your dragon control you bro even peeing in the shower facts, waterproof phone gang, and added an attachment of presumably his image. Uh, we only worship Jeebus around here, challenge accepted, the god. Oh yeah, daddy, daddy Chris, that's a lot of moisturizer. Why are you in the shower? I don't know if this was a picture of Chris or something with minimal clothing, but um, this is bad, this is bad. Allegedly Chris Tyson role-playing. No, it is not. Buzzles your necky wecky, fight me, love you guys. Nuzzles? PP. Nah. Nah. Unzips PP. Okay, Chris, you need to you need to be locked up ASAP. Now it gets really bad when you realize that Mr. Beast was also in the server sending messages. Mr. Beast and Chris Tyson Discord leaks. Mr. Beast allegedly complimenting Chris Tyson's PP size yeah, in Chris's Discord go. server with minors. No, he's not. His PP isn't big. <laughs> Time out, bro. Time out. Time out, man. <laughs> So he was complimenting his dragon size back when he had a dragon. So he couldn't control his dragon. That's why he had to get rid of. This is why I'm saying, guys, control your dragon, brothers. Control your dragons out there. Maybe if you let the dragon control you, maybe one day you gotta rid of that. Gotta get rid of that dragon, though. Yay! Control your dragons, guys. Control Big your enough, dragons. I know, Mr. Beast. This is the actual Mr. Beast. No, I know his PB size and it's huge. Beast, are you gay? The moment you okay. I'll deep th Chris PP. Haha, <laughs> Mr. Beast joins in to comment on my PP size. I love it. And that's Chris. Vindication, Jake Franklin, Jake the Viking also tweeted out saying Jimmy oh knew. And then he God. says, I called it because these uh, texts have been revealed. And it has been confirmed that it is actually Mr. Beast. It has been linked. Yo, that's crazy, right? Like all of this is happening before we got GTA 6. <laughs> GTA 6 2024 is what a year so far, right? Assassination attempt on the president, right? You got like uh, Dr. Dis. We saw the cancellation of Dr. Disrespect, and that cancellation has been so big. 
Chris Tyson hasn't even seen one third of the same level of cancellation. Yeah, he, he's like, yeah, guys, uh, you know, I'm not gonna be in Mr. Beast's video. And Mr. Beast is like, we're firing Mr. Uh, Chris Tyson. That's it, though. Yeah, like, nothing else has happened. Worse is Dr. Disrespect situation fired from his own gaming studio that he himself started could you imagine like you bought a house for yourself right let's just put it put it this way you buy a house for yourself and one day you get kicked out of your own house could you imagine that right like that happened he get uh, kicked from the talent agency he was in the same talent agency as uh robert downey jr so he was that big right nfl uh, nba like everybody just denounced him sponsors pulled out what happens to chris tyson mr beast nothing nothing and initially i wasn't really going crazy at uh mr beast i still am not gonna go super crazy till there's a lot more right i, I mean there is a lot more like i guess we're going crazy at mr beast too but but initially it wasn't like this it was just like the chris tyson situation but now mr beast is also getting involved into this one uh yeah it, it's insane and apparently we're hearing there's a lot more that's gonna get leaked soon because you know seconds are investigating right now yeah everybody's like trying to like in investigate we got like reddit invited uh, in reddit investigators on it uh, twitter detectives on it yeah this situation is aft bro link to his official account as i mentioned oh lord it's going to be a long night okay so i gotta mention a couple additional things that are happening on the side chris tyson is being accused of sa by someone i was sa by ava chris tyson moo skina has come out uh, with their story here i'm not gonna go into it you can go ahead and read it if you want uh, a lot of a lot of stuff going on here i pretty much gotta censor all of this or youtube's gonna nuke me yeah. again which i don't uh, and, and to be fair though like maybe this is real maybe it's not of course like whatever uh, chris tyson has been caught and whatever he done he has done it, it you know it's gonna be very very hard to uh, of course you cannot defend him but it's gonna be very very hard to say that all of this is fake we gotta be fair here fellas maybe like she's uh trying trying to score because right now we're in that environment right so she's uh probably uh, either she's using this situation uh for her benefit or or maybe it's real y you know what i mean we we don't know we don't know but but right now the, the 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 situation that we're currently in a lot of people would believe uh uh her story based off of what has gone down in the in the last uh, last week right want he's done this is the nail in the coffin accusation is anyone else not surprised now yeah, it turns out see? because the situation got so huge chris tyson's own sister has come out saying that chris is faking being trans as a fetish i'm his sibling he and oh, yes sir. i use the correct pronoun told me that he got fully aroused when he secretly stole my female clothes and put them on he's deluded and disturbed and it's 100 a fetish he's narcissistic and professionals have told him he needs a full psych eval this would be absolutely groundbreaking if he was mocking the lgbt community by you know pretending to be trans or something like that but i can't confirm any of this these are allegations from other people right Sound but, but is that even uh his real that's his real sibno, sibling yo man please say psych right now yo say psych bro say psych right now. on it and before anyone says anything yes it is confirmed that is chris's sister former mr beast employee no oh my god bro oh my god so that's his real sibling it's over. It is over. It is over. It is over. Bring the nuke. Bring the nuke out here. Bring the nuke. It is over. It is over. And we got Jake Franklin as well. Holy crap. After seeing all this, I'm glad they fired. <laughs> they fired me. Brother dodge a bullet though. He dodged a royal bullet, man. Boy, Jake the Viking says, after seeing all of this, I'm glad that they fired me. I think nobody wants to be involved with Mr. Beast anymore. And he's going to have a really hard time hiring people anymore. Now we got to move on to the... Um, there would be still a lot of people that would still work for him. But it's going to be awkward, I think. It's going to be awkward. Uh, if they know the situation... And, you know, I, I don't know if Mr. Beast is going to respond. I feel like he's going to respond if this situation gets even bigger. It's bigger. It, it's getting bigger and bigger by the day, right? Like, Sixers are pumping out videos left and right. The, yeah, more Pegasus. His video's hitting, like, 3 million views. That is insane, though. And the, 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 the guy that claimed that he was an ex-employee that made a video yesterday, that we covered a video, that we made a video on, uh, he uploaded, like, a couple of days ago with zero subscribers. Brand new channel. And last time I checked, his video hit 3 million. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, 3 million views. I wouldn't be shocked if that hits 10 million in, you know, later down the road as well. Maybe even 20 million views. Uh, 
this, this is insane. So uh, Mr. Beast did respond after a couple of days. You know, when, when we had the Chris Tyson situation happen, right? He did respond after a few days, but he waited a little bit, right? He was probably assuming that things going to calm down, but it didn't. So I guess that's why he responded. And that's all she wrote. That's the last time we heard from him, July 24th. And uh, if this situation keeps on going, I think he's going to respond. I think he's going to respond. The Mr. Beast game situation. Basically, Mr. Beast is doing an Amazon show called Beast Games, and it's essentially one of his videos, but on a very wide scale, right? And tons of people are coming out with so many allegations that the environment was incredibly unsafe with uh, allegedly people being denied medication, being beaten by other contestants, given very <laughs> little food, some allegations that girls were tackled and assaulted by guys on the show with zero repercussions. Mr. Beast is a monster. Mr. Beast's alleged contestant speaks out claims unfair teams and contestants being depressed after Mr. Beast just wants to psychologically disturb people. They Holy. eliminated 400 people the first day. Those 400 people, the majority of them were forced by the other team members to be on the specific team they were. Some were just about like physically like assaulted to be put onto one team, which ended up making it like the weakest team since it was a lot of like elderly people, petite women and people that just, I mean, they weren't willing to take on six guys that were surrounding them trying to take their vest so that they can actually be on that. Of the 400 people that left, the majority of them, I'd say at least half, are all extremely depressed. Like Mr. Beast is a monster and the games that he does are really cruel and sick. I mean, there are a lot of updates that I'm going to give. I made a video last night when I was, I was prepared and planning on off last night. It was supposed to be a thousand dollars. Um, that's like nothing. <laughs> four months. It was, was going to take four months to uh, get to Okay. Me. If a thousand dollars is nothing. Oh, okay. So Mr. Beast is holding $1,000. Damn, Jimmy. Damn, homie. And you're out here be, being like, okay, I will give you an island. I will, the last person survives, will get an island. The last person uh, survives who changes his gender gonna get a million dollars. Come on, man, send her a thousand. Can a bro and can a can a brother also get two pennies? Yo, two penny gang, rise up! Yeah, two penny squad, rise up! As Mr. Beast and his staff knew that I was homeless and had nothing when I went on the show, and I had to buy stuff for wardrobe to be on the show. Many people, sometimes they, they hadn't gotten their medication for like two days. Some of it was like epileptic medication, like really vital, necessary medication. Okay, so some people are saying that she might be exaggerating, you know, yeah. blowing it up. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's the thing right now, right? Because of this current situation, you don't know who to trust and who not to trust. Guys, we're trying to be fair, okay? We're gonna be fair here, we're gonna be fair. Yes, the stuff that is coming out is bad, but you know, let's not, just uh believe everything out there without evidence right you gotta we gotta be fair we try to be fair with the dog situation right we try to be fair with chris situation and we of course most critical he's just said that on the stream with sneeko in a debate that hey kids that's perfectly fine for kids to cut their pp and switch sides like they were in a call of duty so yeah on that one he said it himself so you cannot defend that right so there's that but with this situation gotta be fair guys gotta be fair here fellas out of proportion or she's just salty that she lost the game and she didn't win any money and she's a sore loser now that could be the case but considering she said she wants to game end herself that would seem sort of serious also you'd think that mr beast would help out one of the sort of homeless contestants seems like in line with his values but apparently not now the only reason i showed this person is because there's also a tons of other people coming out saying the same thing including reporters who went to the location and uh nurses in nearby hospitals where mr beast filmed saying that there were uh uh, people severely injured and the conditions were super inhumane right where people were denied medication and food and proper hygiene now um a blast from the past for rosanna pancino uh the, the youtuber with like 15 million subs who was complaining about uh mr beast hide and seek challenge she also made two videos about this here is the first and, and the craziest thing here is that last year when she came out nobody believed her <laughs> nobody believed her bro nobody believed her people called her petty and whatever uh she said at that time did sounded petty though but i guess uh, people really did jump the gun real quick i feel like that people really uh i guess should have believed her man <laughs> yeah man i apologize i apologize boo boo i apologize man because i, I yeah even i was uh, not believing even though i did not tweet at her or i tweeted and now nah, i didn't tweet it but in my mind right like i was like this is petty though i didn't make a video i want to be very clear but still though like i was uh thinking that uh she's just making a making this 
Uh, she's just fighting over nothing right now, right? Like, it's just petty, though. Even I was thinking that, so gotta be gotta be fair here, though. One. I wanted to keep you guys updated on what I've been hearing about Mr. Beast Beast Games. Since I posted my video yesterday, I've pretty much been talking with more people involved with the show all day. Uh -oh. At this point, I've lost track, but I think it's nearing like 100 people who have reached out to me with their stories. Each person has their own experience and their own opinions, but overall, the stories that I'm hearing just break my heart. I have never heard of anything like this on any set. So today, I want to read a statement from another contestant who shares many of the same experiences with the other stories that I'm hearing. Okay, there's going to be a lot of reading. Feel free to skip this part, but I'll try to interject my commentary and let you know what I what I actually think. I was a contestant until the end. I also didn't accept their hush money. It was really bad. People were having seizures because they weren't getting medication, even though we were promised we would. It was 100% rigged and presented as though the games would be like Squid Games, basically a type of game show where all the games are at an even playing field. That was not at all the case. The games were about speed and strength. I think this is similar to the Netflix show Physical 100, where uh, you know, it's like physical <laughs> challenges, right? So only the young athletic males were at an advantage over the women and elderly people that were casted. To make things worse, men started realizing they could take out the women without being eliminated. Guys started tackling and hitting women. Two girls were tackled and passed out on the field and dragged off to continue filming. I saw people with broken bones, stitches, and most were women. This is straight out of an absolute horror show and the fact that multiple Holy. people are coming out with it. So, man, guys, come on, man. Come on, bro. Stop beating up women like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beast, you you really allowing that right now, bro? Damn, homie, damn. That's like skill-based matchmaking in real life. This is what happens when you do men versus women in like a physical contest. This, bro, like women are different, men are different. Men are physically stronger. That, that's not my opinion. That's a fact, okay? Men are generally physical stronger than females and females are inferior. But females, they definitely have their strong points in other aspects where men are lacking okay let's be fair here what are we talking about this is what happens this is why we have stories where brothers become sisters then they're uh you know competing in like a females match they're a brother brother competing in a female match and beating all the females out there why is that because they're a man i mean yeah physically stronger Th this is not my opinion this is biology this was uh taught to me in school back in the days 10, 15 years ago, they were teaching that. Yes, uh, they were teaching that. Nowadays, they're teaching some different. This is absolutely insane. I, I'm really hoping some contestants come out who haven't signed NDAs and let us know if all of this is true or false because this is an insane scandal. We were given maybe 400. Yeah, I, I suppose like if you're going on a Mr. Beast uh, set uh, before recording the video, everybody would be handed out like uh, NDAs and all that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Your calories a meal and one, only fed every 12 hours. Food were insane scandal. We were given maybe 400 calories a meal and one, only fed every 12 hours. Food would run out and people would fight, steal, and hoard food. What kind of sick? <laughs> game was this? I thought this was a regular Mr. Beast video, but they're fighting over food and water? Oh uh, water was scarce and kept God. running out as well. I had to sit with a bloody pad for two days before I get undergarments and my reusable pads because I'm Ooh. allergic to regular pads. We we're also sleep deprived, only allowed to sleep three to four hours. We all slept on the floor on the stadium in a $10 sleeping bag. They offered anyone who lost $1,000 to sign away their rights to join any kind of class action lawsuit of any kind. That is an insane thing to even offer in the first place. Isn't that implying that you've already done something really wrong? What? I didn't sign, so I did not get the money. After the article came out and things started blowing up, they called everyone back and decided to offer an additional $1,000 per person to make up for the inconveniences. And we'll get to the article as well because that is yet another bombshell. They knew it was bad because right. they also offered to provide therapy sessions using their own insurance. And it wasn't Amazon Prime that called me, it was the Mr. Beast crew. So this therapy session would coincide with what that woman was saying about how she wanted to neck herself. I mean, uh, initially, I did think it was a bit far-fetched because it's a game show, but if what they're saying is true and you were beaten and starved, I mean, yeah, you would want to neck yourself and you'd need therapy. I, I guess that was another challenge, you know, fasting during a Mr. Beast gaming show. <laughs> yeah, uh, to be honest though, like I've read, uh, I've done like a couple of fast, not couple, I've done like a lot of fasting in my life, okay? 12 hours, 15 hours. I've done it, brothers. Bruh. I've done it, man. I've done it. I think I could have won the million dollars if I was on the show, man. Yeah, hi, uh, sign me up, Mr. B. <laughs> yeah. uh, but nah, man, if you say that, like, Skizzle, you can win a million dollars if you change your gender, then I will want it, man. I, I don't want it, brother. I don't want it, man. Therapy sessions, right? I mean, this would be an insane story to make up by 10 different people at the same time. I mean, that's kind of crazy to me. So I'm inclined to believe at least some of this stuff happened. Possibly they're yeah. exaggerating, but at least a, a lot of the bad things did happen. Yeah, I feel like that. So we're getting their version of the truth. We have not heard the other side. Or technically, I mean, Chucky just came out and uh, he says that it's fake. It's fake, guys. It's fake. It's fake. Provides no evidence. It's fake, guys. It's fake. So I guess that's their version. The truth is going to be in the middle. I feel like that situation is overblown right now. I guess everybody's like, 
uh, seeing this opening, right? Like in, in boxing, for example, you like if a brother puts his guard down, you got this opening, right? Dude, pow, you go for it, right? So this is what's going on right now, I feel like. Happen here. We were set up to fail, and when men started tackling people to get them out, nothing was done about it. They were not even eliminated. The game that had to do with the briefcase, it literally felt like Hunger Games, while Mr. Beast is standing on his podium, looking down, watching all of us peasants fight for a chance at $5 million. I know it's a game show, and even with the waiver, it's a company's responsibility to have safety protocols in place to try to yeah, uh, prevent yeah. injuries. That is not what was happening here. The fact that there were nurses at the hospital in Las Vegas are also confirming all the injuries that happened is proof they did not have to sign an NDA. So this is what gives the most credibility to the situation, because even in the article it mentions that yeah the nurses are confirming these stories as well because they were getting a sudden influx of injured people and it was all coming from the mr beast challenge dude and i think the reason this happened is because mr beast is used to dealing with 100 200 people at a time maybe and he went straight to 5,000 or something like way more than he can handle and you know he didn't have the staff yeah. he didn't have the sort of team to handle all of this and this absolutely blew up in his face here we got yet another contestant yeah right and, and i want to be fair here if he didn't have that much staff and there were this many people, of course it would have been hard for him to handle. Not trying to defend him, but just trying to view this from an objective standpoint, right? Maybe he, yeah, maybe he didn't have any, uh, uh, like, perfect. I mean, he had a professional crew, don't make me, uh, don't make no, uh, don't make any mistake about it, don't get me wrong, but, yeah, when you got this many people, some bad stuff bound to happen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With another story, I was expecting for this competition to be hard, but I did not expect to endure what I did. It was a shit show to say the least. I believe they were in over their heads and did not plan very well. Here are some of the things I experienced. No one was using a microphone to make announcements, so it was very hard to hear what production was saying. A lot of things got missed. I had to hear through the grapevine about certain things like when they had Gatorade, when we could go to medical, and when they had snack bags. This just seems like a really poorly organized event that led to an absolute disaster, you know? They handed out undergarment bags to everyone alphabetically by last name. I did not receive my undergarments until the second day of filming. After the first competition, they hadn't fed us in a while and I was feeling lightheaded. I asked someone if they had anything to eat and they told me to push through and basically suck it up. <laughs> oh, you want food, peasant? No, 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 not, not here in the Mr. Beast. Not here, man. It's like fasting with Mr. Beast, where Mr. Beast don't get too fast, but you get too fast. I believe Mr. Beast also didn't done a challenge like seven days fasting or something. Now Sucker's gonna be like, oh, that, that was also fake, bro. That was also fake. I don't know whether that was real. I don't know whether that was fake, but, but see, I, you could have uh, made a challenge like, hey, fasting with me, brothers, fasting with me, brothers and sisters, fasting with me for seven days, the last one that has successfully fasted wins a million dollars. Could could have been could have been that. Uh, this is this is a dojo, all right? You don't get food, pal. On the first day, after 12 hours of having contacts in my eyes, I asked someone if I could go to medical to take them out, and they told me no. I witnessed two people that had seizures, and it took medical several minutes for them to get there. I'm assuming this happened because they did not have access to medication, but I could be completely wrong. Medics should have been on the field 24-7, ready to go at all times. Why are people having seizures at your event, Mr. Beast? What the heck? I heard people were being pushed and shoved by males. I received an email yesterday checking the, how they're going to check footage to end because they take violence seriously. They should have done this during the game and not after the fact i would say most of the challenges were definitely geared towards strong and fast men yeah i mean if you got eliminated and then the next day they, you realize they cheated that'd be completely messed up and yeah, probably yeah. probably illegal like because despite the fact that this is like a, a game show or whatever the hell these they have to follow certain rules or you're just i don't know wasting people's time and essentially lying to them and breaking your contract when all the yeah th this is where i'm at with it right like you can fake videos all day every day like i get it it's for entertainment but when you tell people it's real and on top when you bring people in random people uh your viewers your subscribers and you give them this sort of false hope that you can win this and then you're gonna get the money yeah i get it and ultimately what we're finding out that it's just like at the end somebody he knows would win the money that that, that was uh, something that we covered in the last video so th there are accusations going around by the ex-employee that who got who got fired by mr beast and uh he was going crazy we saw that in the last video right Testing to arrive back to the hotel. We were supposed to have flights booked for us to go home. I woke up the next day and with no flight information, with so many contestants trying to go home, I heard they would not have all the flights booked until a few days later. That Dang. is so messed up. I had to book my own flight and use money out of my own pocket because I couldn't wait that long because I had to return to work. They were going to reimburse us, but there's no telling when I will see the money. They gave out feastable chocolates. Oh yes, the 30 grams of sugar got a...
Okay, I gave a thumbs up way too quick. I was like, okay, so at least they're gonna give the money back, but then they're waiting for the money, and instead, they got the Feastables. They got the Feastable, the chocolate, right? I don't know, bro. What is going on right now? Yeah, like seriously, what is so, going on? There's no telling when I will see the money. They gave out feasible chocolates. Oh yes, the 30 grams of sugar. Gotta load everyone up with some diabetes real quick. And my group poured <laughs> a chocolate because we weren't sure when the next time they would feed us and we were afraid we would get hungry. I mean, honestly, this stuff sounds straight out of a survival horror movie or something yeah. like that, where there's some evil in game show lord who is uh, messing yeah. with the peasants and shit like that. I don't know how much of this is legit, how much of this is confirmed, but I can't say there have been multiple, multiple people reporting the exact same thing with mm. the nurses in the hospital, mm. with the contestants. The statement I just read doesn't even cover the half of what I'm hearing. I'm also waiting for confirmation that there were only two ambulances for well over 2,000 people, the contestants, Sheesh. including the entire crew. And I'm speaking with someone from the crew right now to get confirmation about how many people were on the crew. Now, here's a picture that I probably blurred. It's essentially somebody's leg that is badly bruised, and apparently they have broken bones after attending this Beast Games uh, event or whatever, and they got brutally- <laughs> no, uh, honestly, yep, not trying to defend Mr. Beast, and it does look very, very bad. After all, all this situation this is like extra yeah this is gasoline on the fire right don't get me wrong and mr beast is to be blamed for that but i feel like that there were so many people there and they were not prepared for it Th this is uh not like a mo movie set right i mean it is like a movie it it's like a movie set it's not a movie set uh, and they had so many people there so this was bound to to ha uh, stuff was bound to go down the way i guess it did but this badly that's crazy i, I think they needed more staff they needed more people they needed more staff members they assaulted. Another contestant says, no medications, no undergarments, despite supplying five days of only electrolytes where Gatorade handed out, um, ran out of meals for people, water would run out, was not a safe space. Many of us knew it would be mentally challenging, but the danger we were put in and lack of care was unexpected. No clear communication between staff, making it worse. People were prepared to go. I, I guess it was real challenges. I guess they tried to real, <laughs> I guess this was the challenge, buckos. Into a Mr. Beast challenge. They obviously know it can be challenging because they've watched the videos, but they weren't there to be literally tortured. You know. You know, from, from some of these stories, if these are true, this is torture, all right? Denying somebody food, water, medication, and, you know, basic sanitation is absolutely insane. One contestant noted production staff hired locally were treated poorly, with some working shifts in ex excess of 24 hours in a row. Uh, medications such as inhalers, contact lenses, feminine hygiene products were surrendered, which caused concern among production's medical staff. Yeah, that is really weird. Why are you confiscating medication? Wh in, like, what challenge will their inhaler possibly help them? Oh my god, you need a... I, I mean, you know what? If you're inhaling, you're like... <laughs> You're consuming air. Air is bad for you. You gotta be doing, you're doing this challenge. When you're doing this challenge, no air allowed. Why? No medications either. You're breaking your fast. Breathe? I'm sorry, no breathing allowed in a Mr. Beast challenge. <laughs> Contestants were asked to give production team several pair of undergarments, which were not returned upon disqualification. That is crazy. Stealing people's underpants is nah, 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 nah. You take in my underwear, we have beef for life, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that is crazy, bro. Mr. Beast representative says this information is inaccurate. Bruh. What a great elaboration. It's, it's just inaccurate, guys. <laughs> is Chris even my friend? I inaccurate, inaccurate. Just, uh, yeah. Didn't know any of this, actually. Am I doing illegal lotteries on YouTube uh, for children? Uh, inaccurate, inaccurate. actually. Uh -huh. Hospital employee told us I'm so incorrect in inaccurate inaccurate or incorrect uh okay so Mr Beast responded to it to that part incorrect inaccurate Dang. Where of three or four hospital evacs today. Overnight shift said it was insane, so not sure if or how many hospital evacs were there. Production is a shit show and unprepared for the scale, making decisions as they go along. The you, you know what? The craziest thing here is that in states, in US, I'm in Canada, right? In states, you don't have free healthcare. I, I don't know how it works. If you're in states, let me know, right? Like, do you buy insurance? And if you buy insurance, if you pay for insurance, uh, is the hospital free after that? I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm ignorant on that, right? So l let me know how that works. Like, if you have uh, insurance, I'm assuming there are probably different tiers of insurances as well, like it's a battle pass in real life or something, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming, I don't know, right? But but see, the, the, the point that I'm trying to make here is that you went there to, to have fun, okay? Uh, I guess speak with Mr. Beast, meet Mr. Beast, and on top, be part of the video, and also win money at the end. Ultimately, this happened, and then you get sent to the hospital. <laughs> and when the hospital bi bill hit, oh, I'm not sure what was the hospital bill like, right? Like a thousand dollars, more than that, less than that. I don't know, okay? 
So ultimately, towards the end, you were the one actually losing money. Crazy, brother. Bare Bones Crazy. medic staff on site is not adequate, and we're overwhelmed last night. They compete at night. Let me know what you guys think about all of these Mr. Beast accusations. There's so many coming out. Yeah, I, I don't believe all of them, but it's uh, you need evidence for it, right? It's got to be fair here, right? But if this is really, really true, holy crap, brothers. Holy crap. Let me know your thoughts. Click on this video on the screen. This is that Moist Critical video, okay? Sneeko versus Moist Critical. This went crazy, brothers. Not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Check it out and I'll see you right there.